Today I want to show you the steps to run Stable Diffusion 3 medium on Macbook. Few days ago, Stability AI released the Stable Diffusion 3 medium weights. They released the weights on Hugging Face. So once you are on the page, you will need to log in and provide some contact information. And uh, after that, you were able to uh, start the downloading. One of the easy interface to run the Stable Diffusion 3 is using Comfy UI. They have been updated uh, their workflow. If you go to their example page, you can see the Stable Diffusion 3 examples. They also showed you the checkpoints that needed to be downloaded. There are a few methods to download that. You can download uh, the model with uh, clips included. You can also download uh, the weights and the uh, clips uh, separately. Once you have downloaded those and uh, you will need uh, to get the workflow, the example page showed you two example workflow. Basically, you just need to download the image, you, you save the image to your local. Once you have the workflow, also you have the weights downloaded, and then you just need to uh, update your Comfy UI to make sure that uh, it's uh, being updated to date, so it contains the update for Stable Diffusion 3. What you're going to need to do is to go to your Comfy UI on your terminal. If you are new to Comfy UI, please see my previous video on installation of Comfy UI on Macbook. It uh, is quite uh, straightforward, so I expect uh, you can get it running in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. You are going to need to go into the Comfy UI directory and uh, you're going to need to get pull to make sure that uh, it is the latest code. And uh, you can activate your Python environment. Start uh, Comfy UI interface, Python main p So if you get some warning about uh, some of the missing packages, it is safe to run this uh, requirements.txt. But I think uh, for our use case, we can do it later. And uh, we can go to the URL on your web browser. Here, you can drag the Comfy UI workflow image to this window so it can show up. So, it, so basically you download the image to your local and drag the image to the window here. So, so I already dragged the, the second image to here. So basically you need to have one checkpoint of the ways. The other one is the text encoder. So there are multiple options you can use. You can use the single clip the dual or triple. For my case, I used the dual. Let me show you what I got. So this is my Comfy UI directory. You go into the models here and uh, go to the checkpoints. For the checkpoints, this is corresponding to this node here, load the checkpoint. I have the SD3 medium here. Uh, Size is about 4.34 gigabytes. Go back to the models, go to the clip, the second directory clip here. So in here, it's uh, corresponding to the, the text encoder area here. So basically you have your clip stored 
on the, this directory. So for me, I have the clipper underscore L and the underscore G, so corresponding to here L and G. So make sure that you have those in place. And uh, then you you will uh, just make sh need to make sure that uh, you can enter your prompt. I will do one. I will ask uh, Comfy UI to generate a race car. So I use uh, a little bit uh, complicated uh, prompts just uh, to give it a better effect. So I describe uh, some of the key elements. And uh, let's uh, okay. Let's zoom out, and uh, so we can see there are some random seed here. Steps is so these steps. All right. So let's uh, click the button Q prompt, or you can use uh, Control plus Enter. All right, so it will start loading. And on the left side, I have the monitoring for GPU and the CPU. So this is the M3 Pro chip. So let's see how it performs. We see that uh, the GPU is at uh, its uh, maximum. Here is the RAM usage. So we see that our Python uses about 10 gigabytes of the RAM. It took about one minute for 10 steps, so total is around 3 minutes for 30 steps. Alright, we see on our terminal, it shows uh, the prompt uh, has been completed in 200 seconds. Let's uh, open our web browser. We see it has created a, a beautiful image of a race car. I think uh, the quality looks uh, really stunning. The resolution is uh, 1024 by 1024. I think it uh, looks quite uh, nice. Okay, I think uh, um, you may able to uh, experiment with some of the sampler, scheduler, steps, CFG, etc. I think uh, feel free to experiment with uh, your favorite prompts. I hope that uh, it's not very good at uh, people contained uh, photograph but it is very good at everything else. So I think it can be a really great tool, like added to our toolbox. Okay, so in terms of, of the performance, as you can see, it's not very fast, but I expect it to, like it to be able to be improved soon because it just released two days ago. This is also one of my previous uh, examples to show you like around the 190 seconds because I was using the recording so it may took some extra seconds. All right, so Thank you very much. I think it's very straightforward to run it uh, using the Comfy UI for Stable Diffusion 3. If you have any question, 
feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.